Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Today I am going to be showing you things that I got from Sephora and a few things that I ordered from Gerard Cosmetics and ColourPop. I recently got back from LA and I did some shopping in LA at Sephora, so I wanted to show you all the stuff that I picked up. So I'm going to start off with this foundation. This foundation I've had for some time now, but I wanted to go ahead and mention it. This is the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation and I did do a full review on it which I will link down below. I wanted to include this in here because I just wanted to give like a mini review and an update if you guys didn't catch that video. I really have been enjoying this foundation. If you have dry skin I feel like this is a really really good foundation for you guys so I've heard people say that they've broken out from this but I haven't had any issues with that so that's just a little update from me. So the color I have it in is Medium Dark One Syracuse. The next thing I'm going to show you is this mini Smashbox Full Exposure little palette I picked up. I took this with me to LA and this was the only palette that I used. It is so tiny and so compact. I absolutely love it. It's super thin as well. So it's super easy to travel with and it has all of the shades that you would need. There's a bunch of warm tones, but there's also some cooler tones in here with like this silver, dark, like black color right here. And then there's some warmer browns right here. So I really, really have been enjoying this palette as well. And I believe this is just the original full exposure palette, but it has matte shadows on the bottom. Well, on the top right here, matte right here and shimmery shadows on the bottom right here. And they really work well, they blend out beautifully, and they're not chalky or dry at all. So I really have been enjoying this palette. And I found this actually at Macy's. I got this at Macy's with a few other products that I will mention. The next thing I want to talk about is this Smashbox Contour Palette. And this recently came out, I would say about maybe a month, six weeks from now. That's when I saw it out at Sephora. And this is such a beautiful palette. It has like a gray brown tone, like a grayish tone right there for contouring. This tone for bronzing and then this tone for highlighting underneath the eyes. This works beautifully. I have this on right now as the contour. And I just bronze my forehead with this as well. I know it doesn't look like a lot of dark tones, but a little bit goes a long way. And this really does warm up my skin tone. I, for reference, am NC like 42 and MAC and this works really well for my skin tone. And the banana shade is really pretty too. So it's really pigmented. You can kind of see it there, but it doesn't have any shimmer or anything like that. They're completely matte and this is wonderful. If you don't have the Anesthesia palette, this is also a good alternative. Another palette that I picked up is by Kat Von D, the Shade and Light palette. And this comes with a really big mirror right there. And then this has six colors in here. The top are for highlighting and setting your concealer. This is what I use that banana shade for. And then this is the more like gray toned color for, bron uh, for contouring. And then these two are for bronzing. I don't really use this dark one on this end because it's a little bit too dark. But this middle one is perfect. I really, really love this palette as well. Now, if you want to decide between these two, I would definitely recommend the Kat Von D because I feel like the prices are comparable. I don't remember exactly how much each one was, but they're pretty comparable and you get double the product in my opinion. And they're pretty big slots for these, so I really, really have been enjoying this. And these blend out beautifully. They are so creamy and so easy to work with. These are powder shadows, but they go on really, really nice and smooth. So I've been really loving this palette as well. And then the next thing I picked up was this Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. It comes in like a little tube like this. And this is amazing. I use this every single day. I use it more as a moisturizer and... Even on days that I'm not wearing makeup, I apply this because it just makes my face feel so hydrated and it has a really nice coconut scent to it and it comes with a pump, which is really neat. I really do like that about this product and 
I've used it quite a bit and I have noticed that my foundation goes on a lot smoother and it since I have dry skin it doesn't feel like my face has a ton of product on when I use this so I really really have been enjoying this and you can find this at Sephora in stores or online and I have seen people with oily skin wear this and people with dry skin I highly recommend this if you have dry skin two concealers that I picked up are from Urban Decay Naked Skin these are the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and I have two colors. I have Medium Light Neutral and Medium Dark Warm. So the neutral one I use to highlight and the Medium Dark I use to actually conceal dark circles. And the claims on this are 100% true. It is completely weightless but also offers medium to full coverage. I love this even more than the MAC Pro Longwear. I feel like the MAC Pro Longwear is a little bit too heavy for my skin, especially since it's dry. This really moisturizes underneath my eyes and adds the perfect coverage. This is the concealer that I am currently wearing, and I am in love with this concealer. If you guys want to try this out, they do have these at Macy's as well and Sephora. I highly recommend it. I think they're kind of expensive. I think it's $22 for one, too, but you need the tiniest amount, and it goes such a long way. Another product I picked up is by Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. I picked this up mainly for the highlighter shade. I heard a lot of people say that it was a dupe for MAC Whisper of Guilt and Estee Lauder Heat Wave. So I picked it up and it is gorgeous. I really, really love this. I haven't really messed around with the bronzer too much. I feel like it's a little too warm, but maybe in the summertime when I'm a little bit tanner, it will work well. But this is really pretty and highlighter is really nice. I'll give you a little swatch. You can kind of see it there. It's really pretty and golden and it looks beautiful on tan skin tone. So I really have been loving this. So another highlighter I picked up, I actually ordered this from the Bobbi Brown website because this was limited edition and I follow um, a page on Instagram called Trend Mood One. And they let me know that they had this back in stock and I wanted it for the longest time. So I was so excited. I was finally able to get it. This is the Bobbi Brown Highlight Powder and Bronze Glow. And this is currently what I'm wearing right now. On the tops of my cheekbones, that's what I have on. This, again, is really, really pretty. It's more of a golden highlighter. So if you like golden highlighters, you guys would love this. I don't know if Bobbi Brown still has it. I'm sure you can find it on eBay or somewhere. But if you guys see this, I really recommend picking it up. Um... It's just really, really smooth. There's not chunks of glitter or even shimmer in there. It's just a really smooth highlighter, which is why I love it. So this, again, is Bronze Glow. Two things I picked up from NARS are these new NARS Dual Intensity Blushes. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah. So here's what the packaging looks like. I just really love NARS packaging. I just feel like it's so sleek and I just love the black and white on there. So the first color I got was Adoration. It comes with a really nice mirror and then these two colors. It's just a really pretty like darker mauve pink color and then a lighter pink color on that side. I'll try to do a little swatch for you. Now these do have a really nice sheen to them and that's what I like about them. It's not completely matte. They do have a little bit of something to them. It's not glitter. It's not shimmer. It's just a really nice sheen when you, when they're applied to your cheeks. So I love this one. And then the next one I got is more of like a highlighter and bronzer. And this one is called Craving. The bronzer isn't really that deep. So I don't know how much I can use that, but the highlighter is everything. So there it is. I'll do a little swatch. The highlighter has like an iridescent pearl look to it. So there is the highlighter. So this does have a purpley iridescent sheen to it. And then the bronzer is just really light. You probably won't even be able to see it on my skin tone. You can't really see it. It kind of just blends in, but it's really nice. And these formulas are really, really soft and easy to work with. All right, I think that was all of like the face stuff. Moving on to lips. Everything I'm going to show you now will be lip stuff. And 
some of the stuff I got from ColourPop and some things I picked up from Gerard Cosmetics. So we're just going to go with it and I'm going to show you everything. The first thing I got was this Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Melted Chihuahua. So this color is a deep mauve pink color. It comes with a little sponge applicator and then I'll do a little swatch. This is just really gorgeous. So there it is right there. The next thing I picked up was this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in, I don't know what it's called, Bauhaus or Bauhaus 5, but it's a really, really vibrant purple magenta color. And I think this will be perfect for summertime. There it is right there. I also picked up from Macy's two of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I got Sad Girl and Lovely. Sorry. I got Sad Girl and Lovely. Lovely is this really nice like muted pink color. And then Sad Girl is this purpley burgundy um, base with glitter in them. I have worn this once. I wore this when I was in LA and... It's so weird because you could definitely tell that you have some kind of shimmer on your lips, but it you can't feel it at all. It feels completely smooth. So these are really, really nice. I'll do a little swatch for you next to each other so you can see. All right, so the one on top, if you guys can see, is lovely, and then that is Sad Girl on bottom right there. These also dry completely matte, and these are actually pretty comfortable to wear. I've, I have a few other shades. These are my most recent ones, but sometimes I put, like, some Vaseline or something over them, but I've worn them completely matte before and they're not as tacky as some of the other brands that I've tried. Okay, just a few more products. I picked up this lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. This is called Underground. This is one of their newest lipsticks that they've came out with. This is supposed to be a dupe for Lime Crime Cashmere. And it is just this really, really nice gray toned lipstick. I know this won't be for everybody, but I have been wanting Lime Crime Cashmere for the longest time. And I'm so glad that Gerard Cosmetics came out with a wearable lipstick because these lipsticks are one of my favorite, favorite uh, formulas to wear. I have bought two of the 1995 shades and wear them constantly. So this shade is gorgeous. It is just a muted gray toned purple lipstick and I think this would look beautiful with um, Kat Von D Lolita as a base and then just putting this in the middle. I think that would be gorgeous. Another one that's similar to this shade is by ColourPop and it is called Tootsie and this is a matte shade and these are so affordable. These are $5, so I wanted to try it out. I'm going to do a comparison right next to each other. So Tootsie is more pink in my opinion. It's not as gray as the Gerard Cosmetics, and you can probably see it right there. It's just a more pink. This is probably more wearable for people that don't want a gray toned lipstick, but it's right there. And again, ColourPop has a lot of great product and their formula for lipstick and lip liners are on point. They are so good. They're five dollars and you really can't beat that. So really been loving that. A lip liner that I picked up from ColourPop is called Wet and that is the lip liner I have on today. You can't really tell because I have a million other things over it but this lip liner is a dupe for MAC Stone. It's right there. 
and this really goes well with that underground lipstick. This is again a gray toned lip liner. Um, it's like brownish gray toned and this really defines the lips and it makes them appear bigger than they are. So I really like this. This is completely matte. So I love these. They go on so smooth. They're not drying at all. So this is a good one. And then two other lipsticks I picked up from Gerard Cosmetics. I got them in a bundle for $35, I think. I got four of them for $35, but I can't find one of them. I think it's packed away somewhere. But the other two that I wanted to show you, these are the newer ones, the Rodeo Drive and Berry Smoothie. These are very similar, so you don't really need both, but I wanted to try them out. So Berry Smoothie is a little bit deeper. This one is Rodeo Drive, and then this one is Berry Smoothie. So they're just a pinky mauve tone. And these are some of my favorite shades to wear. So there they are. Right there. All right, guys, so that was my haul. That was all the stuff that I picked up within the last month or two, and I wanted to show you guys a lot of this stuff I really do recommend. There's really not anything in here that I got that I just absolutely hated. These are some really great products. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like hauls. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.